So one resource that might be really helpful here is a safety planning tool okay. called Beyond Now, which is on your phone. So if I show you this app here, the beauty of this is that you'll always have the safety plan with you and it's a really practical way of tapping into resources. Look, I think a lot of health professionals have a lot of anxiety around discussing suicide risk with young people because in their minds they think, I don't want to make this worse. I don't want to increase the risk here. But actually the evidence shows that having a discussion that's open and direct around suicide risk and then putting in place safety planning actually offsets that risk. It allows that person to manage difficult or suicidal thoughts with a better framework and keeps them safer. And very often that young person will feel quite relieved. It's like, oh, thank goodness, we've got it out on the table. I strongly believe young people should be frank when it comes to speaking about self-harm or, or suicidal thoughts when it comes to you know, the interactions with GPs. Um, I've personally never had any experiences in that regard, but from the experiences of my friends, my peers, and people I've had conversations with over the years, the more you don't talk about it, that's when the issue rises. It is very beneficial because, again, it normalizes the situation and it makes you have a you know productive and meaningful conversation. I think leading the conversation around, have you had any suicidal thoughts? Do you have any plans? Can you take me through some of your thinking there? Really allows people to open up about some of the thoughts that have concerned them the most. It allows you as a practitioner to begin to assess their risk. And very importantly, it allows you to put in place a safety plan, which really helps them put a framework around what they can do if they're struggling, and it offsets their risk. You want to have that assertion that whatever you're saying will not leave the room and that boundary is in place between the GP and the young person's um, sort of relationship there. It's really important that you go through a structured safety plan at every consultation and update it. And I find that it's very useful to use the Beyond Now app, which can be put on the phone and you can go through it in the consultation. The first thing would be to learn to recognise your warning signs making your surroundings safe, reminders of reasons to live, things that can make you feel strong, people, places to connect with, family or friends that you can talk to, have a yarn with, professional support, and take a person through what they do in a real crisis situation. If it's an emergency, they call triple O or they present to the emergency department. Young people are on their phones, you know, almost 24 seven sometimes. So having something there that's beneficial, that's there at like an arm's length away is, is very beneficial.